Hello everyone, as you know, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I'm the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com and on today's video, I am going to talk about conductivity meters. So EC meters, electrical conductivity meters and the relationship between the conductivity measurement and temperature. So the relationship of EC with temperature is important because in hydroponics, we measure conductivity in solutions that go from 15 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius, which is around from 65 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And in this range, the measurement of conductivity can actually change 30% between readings made at the low end and at the high end. So it is very important, therefore, to consider the dependency of temperature and conductivity. So how does this relationship work? Conductivity depends on in a solution depends on how fast ions can move from one electrode to another, how fast they can transport charges. So this speed depends on how fast they diffuse through the media, how, how, how fast they naturally move through the media. And this depends on the viscosity of the media. Now the viscosity of something like water changes non-linearly with temperature. This means that it just doesn't move in a simple linear stepwise fashion from a low temperature to a high temperature, but it actually grows faster, almost exponentially, uh, as a function of temperature. This means that to actually compensate our conductivity readings against temperature, we need to use nonlinear functions. There are some linear approximations that work well in very narrow temperature ranges, but actually in the range we use in hydroponics, you still pay a small penalty in accuracy if you use linear approximations. Now, what does this mean in terms of actually measuring your conductivity? What, you should, what should you actually do? And what should you consider when you actually go and buy an EC meter? This is what I'm going to talk about next. So in order to choose a meter, what we want is to avoid the very cheap, tedious meters that do not contain any sort of automated temperature compensation. Because with these meters, you will absolutely need to take both the temperature and the conductivity reading each time you read, and then you will need to make adjustments according to either linear on or nonlinear correction equations according to how you want to correct your readings. But this introduces an additional step and an important source of error given that you are depending on a temperature reading that you are taking with an entirely different instrument. So unless the temperature is super consistent, a normal conductivity meter is not going to cut it, like a very cheap TDS meter is not going to work well. My recommendation is to use meters that do automated compensation of temperature differences and these meters, for example, the, I recommend usually the Apira EC60, which is a conductivity meter that automatically compensates for temperature differences. Not only this, but it also shows you the actual temperature reading on the display so that you can record the temperature reading as you take the conductivity reading without needing two separate instruments. This saves you the hassle of having to perform any manual corrections and removes any problems you might have in the reading of different conductivity um, values. This is especially important when you're reading different conductivities as a function of time and in different places. For example, when we're doing easy readings of irrigation solution and then runoff solutions for people who have run to waste systems, it is very common for the input temperature to be very different from the output temperature since it goes through the plant and a lot of time passes between the input and the output. Okay, I hope that this video has served to show you the big difference that there can be in electrical conductivity measurements as a function of temperature and why you shouldn't be using these cheap TDS meters because they can cause a lot of confusion if you ignore the temperature when you make your temperature readings. I hope you liked this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video and bye-bye.